In a recent Instagram Live Q&A with Katrina Balf and Sophie Skelton, who play the mother-daughter duo, Claire and Brianna, on Star's hit series Outlander, some interesting behind-the-scenes details from the show were revealed. This included the bonnet scene with Brianna in season four, as the actress revealed she couldn't stop the tears, even after she was done filming. So in this video, let's see what she had to say. First off, Outlander's Brianna star broke down in tears after the bonnet scene. Star's hit series Outlander is currently in production for its eagerly awaited season 7. As fans can't wait to discover Claire Fraser's fate, the actress reflected on season 6 with her on-screen daughter Sophie Skelton, who opened up about breaking down after a pretty emotional scene. During an Instagram Live, Claire and Sophie shared moments from the set as they spoke to the fans with a Q&A. As the pair discussed working on tough scenes, Katrina Balf highlighted the actors often work themselves into a state of fear or stress or anger as they're trying to simulate these emotions, but their body doesn't know they're pretending. This led Sophie to share her own experience. She revealed that this actually happened to her as well in season four when Brianna went to confront Bonnet in a jail cell. Because the actress wanted to make sure that Brianna didn't look weak to him and she didn't want her to show any emotion, she continued that she she was holding so much in, and when the directing crew yelled cut, she just couldn't stop crying. The star was shaking and crying for about 10 minutes, and even the director didn't know what was going on or what to do. Sophie added that it was Almas who came up to her and comforted her. The actress noted that the scene was definitely one of those moments where your body doesn't know that it's not real. Props to her acting skills. Next up, what exactly happened in this scene? Season 4 introduced viewers to a new, ruthless villain, Stephen Bonnet, played by Ed Spilliers, who proved to have bad blood with each member of the Fraser family. Throughout his appearance on the show, Bonnet terrorized the family with everything from murder to robbery and assault. He and Brianna even came face to face during the episode titled Wilmington, after she had stormed off following an argument with her husband, Roger McKenzie. As she entered the pub, Brianna spotted Bonnet gambling with a ring he stole from her mother, Claire. Although she'd tried to buy it back, Bonnet began making romantic propositions, even when she denied his advances. But Bonnet didn't take well to being rejected and attacked her in front of other men who were drinking at the pub. The assault had a lasting effect on her for the rest of the season, as she'd never fully recovered emotionally. After he was arrested eventually, Brianna took it upon herself to visit Bonnet in prison and faced him herself. Brianna bravely faced her attacker, and despite the harm he had caused her, she told him that he was forgiven. She also told him she was pregnant and the child could be his, and as a result, he offered her a ruby to help raise the child. Although Bonnet eventually faced his death in season 5, it's yet to be revealed whether he or Roger is the biological father of young Brianna's son, Jemmy. But fans who have read the books hinted that the upcoming season 7 could identify Roger as the father, after Claire and noticed he and the child have the same birthmark on the back of their heads. Moving on, Outlander's Sophie Skelton pays tribute to Katrina Balf. Fans aren't the only ones blown away by Katrina's performance. Outlander's stars Sophie Skelton and Katrina Balf had some touching words of praise for each other when they sat down for a Q&A about their hit Stars drama. Filming for the seventh season is still underway in Scotland, with new episodes expected to hit screens sometime next year. Brianna Fraser star Sophie has revealed how much Balf fought for the supporting cast and crew on the set of Outlander. Sophie and Claire were both asked by a fan what they had learned from working with each other during their time on the historical drama. When it was Sophie's turn to answer, she revealed that Katrina had a knack for ensuring the show's crew, in addition to the cast, were all comfortable and catered for. Without naming any names, Sophie suggested that not every member of the team was quite as conscientious to the crew as the series lead star was. As for Katrina's tribute to Sophie, the Claire actress gushed about how well her on-screen daughter was able to remain calm under pressure. We loved this sweet exchange between the two ladies. Also, Outlander's Sophie Skelton apologizes to her co-star in an awkward outtake. After every season, Outlander reveals a blooper reel of the moment that didn't make the final cut. 
cut. The video features a hilarious compilation of the actors breaking character or forgetting their lines. It also shows a lighter side to the series as the clips include fun and awkward moments, which take place while the stars are still dressed as their characters. The season 6 blooper reel also includes an awkward clip between the Brianna Fraser star Sophie Skelton and her on-screen husband, Richard Rankin, who stars as Roger Wakefield. In the scene, the pair were sitting closely and Sophie was resting her arm on Richard's shoulder, but she quickly broke character and smiled while confessing, I think I just burped in your face. Sorry. While she laughed, Rankin edged away from their intimate space and looked away laughing. The couple was also featured in another scene with their on-screen son, Jemmy Fraser McKenzie. During the shot, it appeared as though the actress was attempting to light a candle. However, after seven tries of striking the matchstick across the side of the box, she failed to light a flame, which was really funny to see. Plus, Outlander's Diana Gabaldon drops disappointing Season 7 update. Season 7 of Outlander is on its way. Fans have been given a few updates so far regarding the star's drama, including that it will consist of 16 episodes. But this latest tidbit from author and creator Diana Gabaldon has left the fans slightly deflated. With a release date still under wraps for the next season of the star series, the Outlander fandom is eagerly awaiting any news about the series. Knowing that Season 7 will double in length from the 8-episode long run in Season 6, fans quizzed creator Gobbledone on whether the episodes will be released in one go every week, or will the 7th season be split into two 8-part halves? Gobbledone was unable to shed some light on this when asked by inquisitive Twitter fans. Gobbledone only replied with, it's up to stars. No official word yet. And now for some other related news. First off, Outlander star speaks out on social media ban. Outlander actress Lauren Lyle, who plays Marsali Fraser, has lifted the lid on her self-imposed social media ban following her casting in the star's drama. Lauren rose to fame starring as the beloved Marsali Fraser in star's hit drama Outlander and is currently the lead in ITV drama Karen Perry. With the crime drama well underway, the actress has spoken about avoiding social media and the pressure fan reactions to her character can have. As Lauren now stars in two major shows, it was expected she would gain a huge following on social media, with fans eager to find out more and be given a sneak peek into her life. However, this may prove a bit difficult, as the actress admitted that she actively avoids social media. Next up, Outlander's Katrina Balfe pens sweet support to co-star ahead of a new role. Outlander's leading lady, Katrina Balfe, took a break from filming season 7 of the star's drama to wish one of her co-stars good luck for an all-new role away from the show. It was one of Balfe's co-stars, who she recently showed her support for after they tackled a new project world away from Fraser's Ridge. Keith Fleming, who played Leslie, performed in a theater production of James IV. Premiering at Edinburgh's Capitol Theatres on October 5th, Fleming took on a leading role in the production as Dunbar. Retweeting a trailer for the upcoming production, Balf also penned a supportive message to her 548.8 thousand Twitter followers. Tagging Fleming's personal account, Balf simply showed support to her colleague by writing, Break a Leg. Needless to say, it didn't take long for Balf's supporters to share their own messages of support and praise for Balf for promoting the production and loyalty to her co-star. Lastly, Sam Hewen shocks fans with his dramatic transformation on Instagram. Just when we thought Sam Hewen couldn't get more handsome, he goes and cuts off his hair and looks incredible in it. The 42-year-old Outlander star released a new video on Instagram and Twitter promoting Waypoints, which is his upcoming memoir. Set to be released on October 25th, the novel follows Sam's journey exploring his homeland of Scotland as he goes on a 100-mile trek from his home in Ben Nevis to the highest mountain in the UK. In the short new clip, he showed off his new close-cropped hairdo that contrasted the long red locks he usually has when he portrayed Jamie Fraser. Reacting to the author's new look, Outlander fans eagerly rushed to his Instagram comment section to share their thoughts on his dramatic transformation. And that's a wrap for this video. What did you think of Outlander's Sophie Skelton breaking down in tears after the bonnet scene? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content.
content like this. See you in the next video.